morning guys it's me clarissica here on clarissica says where clarissica says it all and that is how i feel so we are back with another video this video is on antonio brown yes antonio brown from the oakland raiders that just now signed a multi-million dollar deal with the patriots and he just played this past sunday scored a touchdown literally has enhanced um sony michelle like the Patriots are going all the way. I feel like he's going to be the person to help this team hit, you know, the next NFL big championship game, Mr. Antonio Brown. Okay. So this lady, Brittany Taylor, has came out stating that he has multiple, multiple times, countless times, sexually assaulted her, better known as situations of rape, right? Now, if you read the articles, it's stated that this has happened more than once. Some articles say twice, some articles say three times, but multiple times. Someone's not gonna get raped multiple times. Someone's not gonna be assaulted, assaulted multiple times. I'm just saying, once you're assaulted the first time, that'll be the time to say something, not years down the road when this man signs a new contract, now you come out. I'm just saying, that's my personal opinion. This is a commentary, you guys already know. So, I want to go into the story really quickly about what has happened so far since Brittany Taylor, who is a gymnastics studio owner, has came out saying that she has been sexually assaulted, aka raped, by Antonio Brown multiple times. So, Antonio Brown and Brittany Taylor met back in 2010 um, when he was in college. She used to be one of his tutors. They claimed that she used to be his Bible teacher or tutor and they used to study the bible together and they would you know hang out sometimes and they would talk so years later <coughs> excuse me years later he hit her up around 2012 and basically said hey how you doing talked to her for a little bit and um asked for a picture of her and she sent a picture of her face then I, it went on to say that she that he wanted like you know to see her body see how she's doing blah 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 and she was like no you know we're just friends i'm not going to send him anything okay years of that about two more years passed and he asked her again how you doing what's going on now he's already in the nfl by this time 2014 he's already in the nfl and he's like how you doing what's going on what's new um 2014 2017 around that time because some of the articles are different but anyways how you doing i want to just check up on you blah 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 on how you doing oh wow she basically said that she's you know graduated and she has her own gymnastics studio and he said oh great because i need to get more flexible and i have an ankle issue so let me you know work out my ankle get more flexible and gain more strength in my ankle which will help me out in the game and she said wonderful so now they are building a relationship where he's not going to her studio they're now spending more time together and they are, you know, forming their relationship again. So here we are in 2019 to so, so speed it up. And so now in 2017, they're claiming there are two incidents that happened. And the confusing part to me is, like I mentioned already, in 2017, when quote unquote something happened, why didn't you say something then? Why would you wait two years? to say something and it wasn't just one time multiple articles i saw said twice but a lot of articles also said three times so you were sexually assaulted three times and you never said anything you never said anything when he asked her to, about another picture of you um back in 2010 2012 you told him no but when he sexually assaulted you you didn't say nothing you waited to 2019 and say something I just, I just want to understand this. Like, y'all, I just want to, I just want to understand. So, recently, Antonio Brown, basically, they had, they, they, you know, addressed words together. And Antonio Brown basically texted her, DM'd her, texted her as well, and was like, girl, you, you, you crazy. Like, you, you really crazy if you think this is going to slide. Like, you really crazy if you don't think that we had consensual sex and you don't call it sexual assault. Like, you really, you really, you're really crazy. Now, mind you, Antonio Brown will be um, uh, innocent until proven guilty, but I just feel like this isn't making any sense. If you're sexually assaulted, you're going to come out when it happens. Like, 
Antonio Brown had nothing against you, you know, to, to make you not come out. So why did you come out now? And if he did, quote unquote, have anything against you, why did you come out now? It's just fine. I just find it highly amazing how when he changes his career from the Raiders to, you know, uh, the New England Patriots that she comes out like it's, it was literally when he signed that contract. Literally, that's when she comes out saying this. Now, mind you, I'm not saying that this, 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 it could have happened. It could have been a situation because I'm not putting anything past anything. But I highly, I highly feel like it was not a situation like that. I highly feel like it was not rape. I highly feel like it was consensual. I highly feel like if he would have given her the time of day and actually, you know, make her, or you know, his girlfriend or had an actual relationship with her, this would not be happening. That's what I feel like. I feel like she's one of those salty girls they oh it wasn't it they were just friends friends got feeling friends end up having sex friends got feelings now and one friend don't want to be with another friend it was just consensual sex he's a he's a nba player i'm oh, sorry nba nfl player you know national football league player he's not he's not looking for that you know from you sis definitely not after this that after this stunt honey so i i feel like that's what happened i feel like she wanted a relationship with him, and he didn't want that, the commitment with her. And she ended up getting salty, and she ended up trying to drag his name through the mud like she's trying to do now. And he's like, no. And let me tell you, I'm not going to put the messages here because I've seen the messages. My radio station uh, went through the messages, and I was like, I got to look this stuff up. So I went on YouTube, and I seen the messages too, and I was like, yeah, this does not sound like somebody who's trying to make up for being guilty this sounds like somebody who's like oh hell no like you not about to play me kind of like kind of kind of responses like he i i, I don't think he did it y'all i'm gonna be honest i don't think that he i don't think he wrecked this girl i don't think he sent soft to this girl i don't think any of that stuff happened that's my personal belief i don't now, if I'm proven to be wrong, oh, well, I still don't think so. Because, you know, I'm saying one thing. The justice system is rigged. And justice system, sometimes, even when you, you are right, you're wrong. So, even if it comes out to he he's trying to be guilty, I still don't think he did it. That's just my personal belief. It's my personal belief. And that's how I feel, y'all. So, if I get any new updates on this video, this is like a commentary. I didn't give you like a full read the article thing. I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to give you my commentary because I don't think it, it happened. I don't waste my time going through all the details. I give you a brief synopsis of what I found. And yeah, if you have any opinions, leave it in the comment section down below. And other than that, thank you for watching this video today. Please go ahead and share it. And also make sure you subscribe if you're not already subscribed. If you are a subscriber that already watches my channel, hey fam, good morning. Thank you for watching this video today. Please let me know how you feel in the comment section down below. And if any new details come out, let me know. See you guys later. Peace out.